Hey, what's going on, beautiful family? It's your sister Michelle here doing another video for you all. Hope you're doing well on your personal journey and wishing you nothing but love and light because you are the light. You deserve it. You're wonderful, phenomenal, sexy, and important people. Stronger than you even know. And you deserve the best. And your sister loves you so much, okay? Drop down and let me know how you're feeling. Make sure you hit the like button for your sister. Gotta keep this going. I love y'all. Let's get straight to it, though. What is a narcissist thinking now after the discard of you? Or you discarded them, even. After the discard, no matter how it went down, what is the narcissist thinking? You want me to tell you the truth? Right at the beginning of this discard, they ain't thinking nothing, honey. Because more than likely, if they discarded you, they got someone else. They are either grooming someone else or they found something they think is better than you. Because one thing about a narcissist, they have an insatiable need to always have some form of validation. That's why no, not one person is ever going to be enough. I remember saying to myself one time, like, well, do they not like this? Like, I dated a narcissist one time, besides my one I was with for 100 years, the one I told you a lot of stories about. I dated one briefly. And um, I have children, of course. This gentleman didn't have any children. And when I realized the different tactics he was using, the first thing I started thinking was, well, maybe this gentleman doesn't like kids, or maybe it's this and that. And a lot of times, you know, in relationships, we start thinking, maybe this person is acting a certain way if you don't really know at the time they're narcissistic. No matter what the situation is with the narcissist, they're always looking to one-up you. It has nothing to do with what you have and you don't have. It don't have nothing to do with your kids. It has nothing to do with your job. It has nothing to do with what you have you don't have, all the money you got, family got, if you're down on skid row. It doesn't matter as long as you can give them a form of supply that eventually all supply gets old. It doesn't matter about none of that. It doesn't matter. So when you're discarded by a narcissist, they're on to the next thing because that new person and that new situation is a shiny new situation. It makes them happy at the time. It fills that void of unhappiness that they have because they have a bottomless pit of despair, unhappiness and brokenness that they use individuals to fill. We are nothing but just temporary fillers for them. That's all we are. Nobody can sustain these people. Not one person. I tell people all the time, you talk about the new supply, and I know I was guilty of definitely when I was in my narcissistic relationship for many years, when he moved on with the new supply, and it was definitely a downgrade in the situation. I thought, well, what does this person have more than me? We all go through that. Is this person better? Are they doing better than me? Is their life going to be better? Is he going to be happier now? We know that's a crack of bullshit. Come on now. We know. Because they're liars, just like the father, Satan. YouTube don't block me. Listen, it's an endless need for validation and admiration and they will get it at any cost it doesn't matter where it's coming from so when you get discarded by a narcissist it's only because of validation it's not because of what you did wrong and right and they have a good way of twisting things right when they want to discard you or they want you to discard them the reverse situation that they pull they will find the littlest things to go out and you know discard you for you're trying to figure out i was just laying up with you yesterday having a ball tomorrow you talking about I asked you for a cup of water and you're out of here. That's how simple-minded they are. They will use any excuse will do because they have found something else. They think not is better than you. It's more exciting than you. They're giving me more energy. It's brand new. It looks fun. This person doesn't know who I am yet. I can play the game. They're feeding into my ego. They're telling me I'm wonderful. I'm smart and amazing. They're giving me all the love that I already got from you that I'm tired of now. This new person is now giving me all this. And my ego is on 25,000. With you, I've already been there, done that. They live by that been there, done that mindset. So when they discarded you, or you discarded them, and they made you discard, what they're thinking at the time, they're not thinking nothing about you. I'm sorry. It's real, and it's raw, and it's hurtful. I know it hurt me to the core. When I realized it, when I finally realized that I'm sitting there thinking... Like we all do. And you discarded me. Is he thinking about me? Did it even bother him? Is he? How can he sleep at night? Why did this happen? I don't understand. It's some crazy stuff. Who does this? I mean, and we sit there and spend all this energy doing this to ourselves, which is normal. But the whole time you're doing this, you're losing sleep and everything else and not eating and not wanting to do all this stuff. They're just living their best life at the time. Because they never lived their best life. But you know what I mean. They're living in the moment. And in that moment where you're feeling like this, they're on cloud nine. They are on cloud nine with this person. So when they discard you, like I said, or you discard them, or whatever the case, the scenario have went down, they are on cloud nine right now. 
They don't give a damn what's going on with you. You can call them right now and say, I'm getting married. They'd be like, congratulations. It, and you would think a person that really cared about you, which we know they don't, would feel some kind of way. But in the moment, they do not feel like that about you. Listen to me. They're so glad that you're gone. You're not in the way. You're not in the way of what they're trying to do. You are not in the way of the new thing that they got going on. That's why they try to clear a path before they even really jump into something else. You notice a lot of times you'll hear about them being with somebody so quickly. That's usually right after you figure out that they no longer want to be with you. They're trying to clear their pathways to have a clean breakaway. But here's the thing that they don't understand. Here's the final tee hee hee. When you do people like that, you never get a clear breakaway. Just like they try to use us for momentary fixes. That situation is just a momentary fix for them as well. That's why nothing that nobody ever does is going to be fulfilling to them. Person to person, person to person, it's situation to situation. When they discard people, they're not thinking about us like that. Because you know what? It's painful, but it's true. We went with a loving heart and open and understanding and wanting to love this individual. They didn't come into it like that. They came in to see what I can get from you because I'm a broken person. I need you to put a little piece in me that I'm hoping is going to finally fulfill me. But when I realize it's not, you're just like somebody, you're just disposable. There's no love there. And it's not because you're not lovable. It's not because you did anything wrong. It's not because you're not the shit because your sister thinks you are. Yes, I do. And they know it deep inside they do. But that doesn't matter to them. What matters is, do I feel okay right now? What matters is, this new person is making me feel like I'm a king or I'm a queen. And I'm going to use them up too, just like I did you and everybody else. Once I get tired of it, or they get hit to me. And they're no longer giving me what I want. Because let me tell you something. In the love bombing stage or in the beginning of any relationship, what always happens? The honeymoon situation. Everything's always good in the beginning. Everything looks good. And with the narcissist, they're painting a perfect picture for the person they're dealing with. Honey, they will tell the person they're with, I do this. I like to date this way. I like to be like this. I take people on dates. I go on vacations. Oh, I do all kinds of stuff. I'm a family person. They tell this new person all of this. So they can get the new supply so enthralled in them saying, oh my God, I found something so wonderful. And they start giving out all that energy to the narcissist just like we did. But the narcissist is taking all that energy, internalizing it, eating it up just for a moment. And once it's no longer of use or they get bored or they see something else they think is better than what they're already getting, they're on to the next, baby. They don't think anything about it. That's what they're thinking when they discard you or they make you discard them. That's exactly what they're thinking. It's painful, but it's true. They don't care. They don't care about anything. Hell, they don't give a damn about themselves. Just think about it. Like I always tell you, it's spiritual. It's demonic. It's really demonic. If you go back and look at even the Bible, I don't know if you believe in the Bible or not. I'm not, whatever. But everybody knows about the Bible. We know the story of how the devil was in heaven with God. And he thought he was better than God. He wanted to do everything. He said, okay, I'm willing to cast it all to the stones. And he exactly did that. He casted himself away, right? To see if he could pursue and be better than what he already had. And who could be better than being with God? I mean, come on. So if somebody can do that, we don't stand a chance in hell with people that are automatic demonic just like that. I mean, come on. We do not stand a chance. What they're thinking when they discard you, they don't think absolutely nothing. But let me tell you something that we already know. Once that situation comes to a boil and comes to a head, and that new supply, new situation is not giving them what they want, they're going to come back and recycle you again. They give you enough time, most of the time, to try to heal. So that way, if you healed enough, maybe your energy is up enough. And I can come and suck this back from you again. It's a non ending cycle non-ending but here's the thing no matter what they think about you during the discard you need to think about them like this you didn't really discard me i discarded you because when i discard you there is no hoovering and returning there is no second shots once it's over for real with us and we get our healing so the, who is the true discarder here that's why they say narcissists never truly discard anybody. They always come back. But see, we discard people. After we're done with their ass, we're freaking done. There is no more coming back. There is no more hoovering. There, it's over for you. It's a wrap. So really and truly, when you discarded me, you discarded yourself. And that's the truth. Now, that's T. That's scripture. Your sister loves you so much. Remember that? Don't worry about the discard because they discard everybody. But the truth is, they really didn't discard you.
They set you free. Your sister loves you. Remember what I'm telling y'all now. Bye.